Good day, Happy Traveler, Seven Continents Travel Agency here today talking about sales. We have 15 hours left with Carnival. Let's take a look at Royal Caribbean. We have 63 hours left. Norwegian Cruise Lines, oh, we can sign up for a deal. We got 39 hours left. We have a flash sale, my goodness, and 42 hours left on Princess Team. The emails come in. Everybody wants to get a good deal, and all the emails say that now is the time to buy. Today, we are talking about how to get a good deal on cruise prices, and I'm going to show you some of the tips that I use. And the first step is create a price tracker. So the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you the current prices. Maybe you are shopping for a cruise, and you want to see, hey, I'm going to Europe. I want to go to the Caribbean. I want to go to Alaska. I want to travel during the holidays. We are going to show you the current prices as they are today and what they were historically. And that way you can create baseline for yourself as to what a good deal is. Because all of these right here are going to tell you now is the time. And you don't have a lot of time to book. The truth is you have a lot of time to book and that the prices actually change daily as I am going to show you today. So let's start with maybe you're thinking about going to Europe. I created three different search ranges, Europe off peak number one, Europe peak and Europe off peak uh, number two. So if you go before summer, that's off peak one. If you go after summer, that's off peak number two. And if you're willing to stay in a balcony room right now, the cheapest price is 877. And if you're willing to go in an inside room, and that's with MSC, you can see all the prices. They start at 877 for a balcony and go up from there. And if you're willing to stay in an inside room, that's 639. But let's take a look at the tracker. Is that the best deal for off peak? The price actually, when we did this activity last week, 908 was the pr cheapest price for an inside room. It has since been 639. Started out last week, 1108, dropped to 919 throughout the week. It is presently 877 today. So today, as opposed to last week, is a much better time to buy an off peak European cruise. Let's take a look at peak. All the Caribbean, well, a lot of the Caribbean cruise ships make their uh, transits over the Atlantic. They're repositioning cruises. If you want to be in a balcony room, 1152 in Royal Caribbean is the cheapest price. Goes up from there. Lower of the seas. I will actually be on this ship. Actually, that price dropped quite a bit since I have booked it. So I have to take a look at that myself. Uh, and it goes up. The the price goes up from there. And an inside room, the price goes 765 813 accordingly. How does that stack up? 765 been that way all week. Started out last week, 1039. It is now higher, 1152. So sale is only relevant to the time that you are willing to travel. Let's go to Europe off peak number two. Balcony room, 1423, 8 is the sponsored price up there. Otherwise, 825, 900 uh, appears to be the norm for the balcony room off peak two. And if you're going to go to the inside, uh, 669 is the starting price. And we will walk over. 593 is what it was last week. This week it is 669. So let's head to the Caribbean. The Caribbean is broken out into several different time frames you got off pre spring break cruises then you got spring break cruises in between spring break summer break summer break when the kids are out of school it's more expensive then after summer break and then we're going to do thanksgiving and christmas so we're going to look at a couple different uh different variations here for it so all right so let's go and take a look uh these are uh, balcony rooms for January through March, we got 599, 639 is the starting level prices. And if uh, you're looking for inside rooms, 329, 398. And if we run this little activity right here to the Caribbean, 369, 320. So what it is right now is the current price. Last week it was 738, this week 599 for a balcony room. So that's a savings per person, 140 bucks times two, 240, uh, you know, 280. That's couple drinks, right? Maybe even a drink package if you're a soda person. Let's run this activity during spring break. You'll see that the prices do go up. 
743, 718, 813, Harmony of the Seas, great ship, just got off of it. Uh, fantastic, fantastic ship. So balcony, looking like about 800 bucks per person. Inside, 473, 458, uh, 548 rather, pardon me. So if we run this little activity right here, 322, so 473 for an inside, that's the cheapest it's been. Last week it was 582. So it went down through the week, 738 last week, it went up to 763 midweek, down to 743 is where it sits presently. So let's go to after spring break. After spring break, we got balcony rooms running at 847 to 862. Inside rooms drop down to 632, 633. And in our after spring break, 632, 612 was the midweek low. It did drop Tuesday, Wednesday, and then it went back up 632. Balcony rooms were 810 last week. This week, you're rewarded by paying a little bit more. 847, actually, Tuesday, Wednesday, it did drop to 785 in between. If you're looking to go on a summer break cruise in the Caribbean, $1,000 for the balcony is what you're looking to pay. MSC, Princess, uh, among some of the, uh, the others, even Celebrity is down into the, the lower ranges there. 760 starting for an inside room on Royal Caribbean. Something I've noticed is you don't see Carnival right now in the lowest prices until the very bottom. So if you're looking to get on a nine-day cruise out of New York, uh, Carnival does show up. Otherwise, 760 last week went up on uh, yesterday, Friday, now back down to <clears throat> 760. Been about 1017, 1020 all week. Then you send the kids back to school, 811 to 1122. Uh, you got the prices right here. Pardon me here. I got my stuff a little out of kilter. Ah, no worries. I, I must have placed it somewhere. We'll, we'll take a look at here. Uh, after kids go to school, 502 to 413. So it's cheaper than last week, almost by 100 bucks. And then 730 down to 533. It dropped down to 1022 on Tuesday. Uh, I'm sorry, dropped down to 533 on Tuesday, then rebound to 658, and it's sitting at 659 right now. And if you're looking to go on a Thanksgiving cruise, we are starting to just, we just started to track that this week. The Thanksgiving cruise price starting at 642 right here for the inside. Just looking at seven day uh, cruises, 642 and 922. So, when you're looking at if it's your first time taking a look at it, uh, I've booked Thanksgiving cruises and Christmas cruises. Uh, man, a really good deal for two people is about $2,000. And that's it, it typically goes up from there. And that's about what you can do right now for a balcony. Uh, so, that's you know, sub 2000, uh, actually, sub 1900. So, that's that's not bad. Uh, and same with Christmas. If you're looking to go into Christmas, we got inside rooms listed at 813. And again, on a princess cruise, if you can do sub 2000 for a balcony room for two folks, uh, that is considered uh, the, the, the good deal. Uh, as you, even MSC is over 2000. So, you know, princess is running a pretty good special in that regards, but we'll build that out. We just started tracking those today. Although historically 2000 is about the benchmark of a good deal. Let's finish strong with Alaska cruises here. If you're looking to go to Alaska, we have pre to take a look at the date range here. Yes, so Alaska is broken down into three date ranges. Uh, before Memorial Day is peak uh, off peak one. Then you got summer, pretty much when the kids are out of school, Memorial Day through the end of July. Uh, that is peak. And then you got off peak number two, wrapping up the season. So if we are looking for a balcony room, right now we got them as low as 1192 from Whittier. From Seattle, it's 1199. Uh, so, you, you know, that, that's round trip out of Seattle. These ones out of Whittier to Vancouver are one ways. We did it one way from Vancouver uh, up to Anchorage area. So that is, uh, you know, so it's about 1200 bucks. Uh, if you're looking to do an inside room right now, Norwegian still has the best in class prices. Uh, it is a one way, but, you know, that, that is uh, still a pretty good deal. And, but last week it was 345 for an inside. 592 right now, 1010 last week for a balcony. 
uh, almost $200 higher at $1192 right now. So we're creating the baseline. Uh, the prices are higher now. Will they go down? Nobody really knows. It's all about volume and who, like, whoa, who's going to panic? And then just let's just lock in at that price and get it. Uh, my, my thought is if you think it's close to the price you're willing to pay, lock in, buy it. If it goes down, call the cruise agency, call your travel agent, whoever. And uh, they usually, before final booking, will reprice. But take a look at your cruise contract to make sure that that option is for you. Let's take a look at the peak pricing for a cruise. $1,239 uh, for a balcony is the starting price on the Anthem of the Seas, $1,288. Royal Caribbean is really all over the place here, and uh, Celebrity, we were on a Celebrity cruise to Alaska, and if you have a kid, maybe, you know, he was maybe a little bored, but, uh, you know, he made the best of it. Just go look at the mountains and the whales. 822 for an inside room. 844, uh, so we got the baselines here. 822 is higher than 712 last week, and 1239 right now is higher than 1139 last week, so right now the Alaska cruises are trending higher. If we finish strong and we take a look at the Alaska cruises after the kids are back in school, September through the end of October, balcony rooms are running 1170, uh, just around 1100. So we got 1099, 1079, and then the inside rooms are 880, 745, 756. So we got 745, which is up from 545 this time last week, 1079. The week low was 1058, which was observed on the 24th of October. So these are the prices as we see them on October 26th. Uh, is now the time to buy? Well, really depends. There were some, uh, some options here that, that were certainly the cheapest in the range. It's up to you. You got to figure out, hey, when are you looking to travel? And is your period currently at a discount? Don't, we'll, we'll finish strong here. I wouldn't necessarily rely on, uh, to, listen, Shaq's a great guy. I, I met him in an elevator once. Uh, I don't think he'd remember me, but I did meet him and we talked basketball and that was a highlight of my life. But these, these timers are just designed to create a little bit of anxiety. Just know your price, create your budget and let the prices work with you to that end. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you try.